I don't actually have any anything to say for this intro, but uh, I thought I would give you this nice this nice screenshot to re represent the spirit of Halloween. Boo! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> um, back when the friendship is tragic too, and scribbler on a broom, and something else that rhymes with broom. Like this banger tune. And the moon. The video's coming soon. <laughs> uh, Warning. The following video contains scenes of graphic violence. It's very disturbing. Yep. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, I always love hearing the, that thing, man. I don't know why. Here we go, intro. Okay. So for this intro, I got a little bit of a little bit of a thing here. Um, so y'all know that some if you're a long time viewer, y'all know that sometimes I like to eat during my videos. You know, could be a cookie, could be a brownie, could be just straight up chips. I think the last time it was cinnamon toast crunch. I've eaten ice, I've eaten crystals. This time, I just straight up have a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Just, just a straight up regular Chick-fil-A sandwich with the two pickles and everything. Like, and and it's it, it's 12.31 a.m. in the morning right now. It is literally midnight, and I'm eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yeah, Chick-fil-A closes at... Closes, uh, Chick-fil-A closes at 9. Your point? How did I get this Chick-fil-A sandwich? Well, I, I, it might have been made like four hours ago, but I'm going to eat it anyway, because I like Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I'm eating good tonight. I'm going to eat my Chick-fil-A sandwich. Not the oil, oh, the, the butter. The butter is cold. And I get I get no napkins. You know what? You know this is what this is what I deserve. I worked at Chick Fil A for like three and a half hours, or no, it was like no, it was three hours and fifty minutes. Yeah, I work, guys. I work at Chick Fil A. What are you doing? Work probably being productive and living out your dreams, living a great life. Good for you. I, no, honestly though, good for you. Good thumbs up, thumbs up. I'm I'm, I'm living I'm living with, with my Chick Fil A burger. Oh, uh, this Chick Fil A burger is gonna be cold, but I. Okay. <laughs> this like feels weird to touch. I have never touched a Chick Fil A sandwich that is cold. It's so, it's so weird. Okay, okay. Is this spicy? Nah, this is regular. Okay, get get rid of the pickles. I ordered a regular Chick Fil A sandwich, and I knew I would get pickles, but like you know, I, I could have ordered a no pickle, but I didn't. I don't know why I don't do that. <clears throat> well, it's a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I don't know how to feel about it. It's just, I don't know, it's got this weird aura around it. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take another bite. I'll eat all of it. I'm a hungry boy. Ooh, right on the moon. Oh, that's right. Um, this episode is about Twilight. Oh yes, that's right. Oh my God, holy frick, Nugget! This episode is about to be crazy. So, like, remember last time when I was confused on what Awakening meant in the last episode? Here it is. We're getting some Thank Twilight stuff today. Thank you for this to my attention, Minister Periwinkle and Minister Olivine. I will set aside funds for the new curriculum at the next budget meeting. Thank you, Your Highness. I believe this I really is years think that teaching our young ones after new episode languages six. would open up the Empire to more beneficial trade agreements down the line. And the, uh, cultural implications for us are staggering. We could bring the, um, the history and, uh, customs of the Crystal Empire to a whole new audience if we can explain it all to them in their, that is to say, their own language. 
Mm-hmm. Some mm -hmm. of the etymological changes over the last thousand years have been truly fascinating. There are whole new tongues that did not exist when last we were abroad in the world. French, Germanian, Belarusian, Yak Yakistani. <laughs> they are like diamonds in Poor the mouth, my liege. Yeah. Oh, by the way, today I learned that we in French is not spelled W E E. It's <laughs> it's spelled O U I. Actually, no. Is it is it spelled that way? No, yeah, it's spelled that way. How do you? How, okay, no. How do you? How do you spell? No, how not? How do you spell French? How do you spell yes in f French? Yeah, it, it is uh, O U I. You know, instead of going wee oui, wee, oui, I will now go oi oi, oh oi oi oi. <laughs> yes, you a bit of a French man myself. Thoroughly, with flashcards, lots and lots of flashcards. I find they help me order my thoughts. The crystalline pony of honor who aided in our redemption, Lady Inkwell, was very instructive in their proper use during your time here. That does not surprise me in the slightest. I can taste pickle, what the frick? Mind, I'm sure that as Education Minister and Minister for Cultural Affairs, you have lots of important other things to attend to. Usually I don't taste pickles. Your Highness, apologies for the intrusion, but we have had an important message from Equestria. Ooh. What does she want now? Your it's Twilight. presence in Canterlot is required immediately. It's Twilight. If you can inform Princess Luna that my timetable as a sole ruler of the Crystal Empire does not allow me to just drop everything to bend to her whims. It don't matter. Uh, excuse me, Your Highness, but the message was not from Princess Luna. It wasn't? No. It was from her most exalted helpfulness in the heroic saving of the nation, Lady Raven Inkwell. Oh. I we both made it clear on numerous occasions that the naming conventions of the Empire are tad too complicated for... Wait, why does Raven want me to come to Canterlot? So, it's probably Twilight, right? It's probably Twilight waking up from her coma and then friendship is tragic, but like... Are we not gonna know what happened to Spike? If this is like... Years into the future after episode 6, and this is like when Twilight wakes up... What happened to Spike? Like, why did he just kinda just... Start hibernating or whatever. Again, my memory is hazy from the first Friendship's Tragic, so it could have been explained then. But, but like, hmm. She said you would understand if I said two words to you, Your Highness. Twilight Sparkle. Oh, and what two words are those? <coughs> She's awake. <coughs> Minister Periwinkle. Minister We're Arnold, in the future, tell boys. the Crystal Council I will be journeying to Equestria immediately. For how That's long, a victory fight. A few it's days a victory at least. King tell them to instigate provisions 34B. I wrote everything down for them to follow in the event that this happened. In the event that what happened, Your Highness? A brother in friendship is tragic, brother. Out of her coma. Oh man. Oh, we're we're in it. We're in it to win it, boys. There's a minute, and we're gonna win it with the quarter. <laughs> None of you know what that meant, but I don't care. What are you talking about? She's not awake. She's still asleep, but she's gonna wake up anytime, any any anytime soon. She's gonna she's gonna wake. You know, right now. No, I'm kidding. She wouldn't. She wouldn't wake up now. So you're here. Would I be anywhere else right now? I've long since given up trying to predict the things you do. Cadence, hmm. please. Not now. Not here. Huh. How <laughs> is she? Nice. Confused. Upset. The nurse told her about Celestia's death. Already? You know Twilight. The moment she awakened, her first thought was of my sister, and going back to the battlefield to save her. The nurse did what she thought was best, and informed her that it has been four years since Celestia passed. Four years, man. She had to be sedated by the doctor. 
sad sandwich bite. She hysterical at the news and the realization she could not teleport to my sister's side to see for herself. Did he say how long she would be out? No. Great. It is <sighs> good to see you, Cadence. I will yeah. not even pretend the same for you. I want to hear Twilight, man. I miss Twilight. Life in the Crystal Empire seems to be suiting you well. It's hard work, but the ponies there need me. Readjusting to life after a thousand years absence is hard for them. I am intimately familiar with that problem. You weren't traumatized by being enslaved to a mad king for years before you got sent to the moon, though. This is true. Yeah. They are flourishing under your rule. They're eager to make sure they live their lives to the fullest. I've encouraged them to go out into the world as much as they can and experience yeah. life after loss. Yeah. That's something you should have recommended more often to those around you. Yeah. He was desperately unhappy, Cadence. Don't give me that. I did what I thought was best. No. You did what was easiest. Are we talking about Spike? Then you help him! You get We're talking therapy. about Spike. You contact his friends and ask for their help. You don't give him a horde and put him to sleep for a hundred years. Yep, no Spike. It was oh, so it was it was Luna to Oh Luna. Oh you Oh that hurts. Oh that hurts. Are you? Oh, oh man, Luna, I want to slap you right now. Wow. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> bro, are you kidding me, <laughs> bro? <laughs> you freaking freak nugget. Idea, Cadence. He did not want to stay awake. We're not having this conversation. Evidently, we are. No, you're trying to justify yourself to me again. Just like last time I was here in Canterlot, and the time before that, and the time before that. I don't want to hear it, Luna. This is why I always send envoys instead of coming myself. I gotta you pass aggravate this, me too this man. much, and the Crystal Empire and Equestria both need each other too much for our hatred of each other to get in the way. Or did you forget all the nations who refused to trade with Equestria ever since you genocided their neighbor? No. Oh. Didn't think so. For what it is worth, I'm glad you came. I'm here for Twilight. You love her very much. Of She's course. She's family. So was Spike. Oh, Why did you leave? Damn! What? what? Why did you stay in the Crystal Empire That's instead true. of coming back for him? I didn't leave him. The ponies there needed me. I invited him to come and live in the Crystal Castle with me. Yeah, that, I would have known this Twilight. Thing. You were his only family. And to his mind, you left him and her. How dare you! I am only speaking hmm. truth, Cadence. No. That you're is being the same vindictive, cold-hearted pony you always were. I am imperfect. Ha! <laughs> That's putting it lightly. But oh man. I am capable of acknowledging my mistakes. And tr Sorry I'm pausing right now, but like I'm pretty sure I said this the last episode, but I I love this this writing how you can you can fully understand both sides of the of the argument but like you can still like pick a side and be like oh it's just oh it's such a just a moral dilemma bro <laughs> oh man like i i don't know what i would do in this situation i'm glad i'm not in friendship is tragic i would oh uh, bro, I would not, like, can't speak, moving on. <laughs> trying to do better, to be better. Acknowledging your mistakes 
is a funny way of putting murdered hundreds of your own ponies. Or does it actually make life so much harder for everyone left by making long-held allies break ties with Equestria for She's fear of genocide them too if they put a foot wrong? How is the trade me feel bad. with Saudi God. Arabia coming along these days? Did they refuse to even meet with you again? How about Griffinstone? Oh my Did you God. his hard work of building relations with them too? How much of your sister's politicking did you obliterate when you went to Diomedes and wiped them off the map, Luna? Hmm? You think I do not live every day with those regrets? I hope you do. Calm down! I hope down. Oh my. a single moment of respite from them. I hope you hear the screams of those castle staff in the dark hole <gasps> in your sleep and see their faces whenever you close your eyes. Jeez! I do. Calm the freak down! I need to calm the freak down. Jesus! Can't cut! Whoa, dude. It's palsy. I also see it in the faces of all the families I've spoken to over the years. What? The families of those who died in the Diomedes invasion. Those who worked in the castle, the guards stationed in Canterlot and beyond, the citizens from the border towns. I have visited and spoken to the families of every single one of them since that night. Some accepted the financial aid I offered to help see them through their loss. Oh. Some merely wished to talk to me of their loved ones, to share with me memories of their lives, their hopes, their dreams, all of which vanished because of me. Not that they know that. No, they do not. So you talking to them was just some weird self-harm situation? It was an attempt to make up for- Oh, no, no, no. Sitting down and talking to the families of those you killed is not even close to making up for what you did, Luna. Not <coughs> even close. Oh my not. god! But it brought them some degree of comfort. The same way that hating me brings you comfort. Oh! oh you just... Twilight? Oh my... Sparkle? I'm about to pass on now, can I? Twilight? Twilight! Twilight! Twilight Twilight! Twilight Sparkle? Oh my god, it's been so long. Twilight! Twilight, you have awake. so many life stories to you talk about. I had a chick. You want some of this Chick-fil-A sandwich? What? I mean, hey, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a little cold. Why why am I? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe, oh. breathe in, breathe out. Oh, I remember. Princess Celestia, she's she's and it's been has it really been four years? Twilight, you don't have to. It has. Twilight Sparkle. Then, then, mm. then it's all true. I fail. She's oh, dead. man. Because of me. It's all my fault. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Twilight. It wasn't your fault. It was. She tried to send me away, and I fought her, and she got distracted, oh, and I- Oh, it wasn't your fault. They killed oh. her! They killed her right in front of me! It absolutely was not your fault, dear Twilight. She died because of me! Because of me! <laughs> oh, Twilight. Hush. Oh. Hush, Twilight Sparkle. Oh. It will be alright. It will be okay. It will be okay. It will be okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It'll be okay, Twilight. I want to take it back. I want to take it back. I'll do whatever it says. I'll do whatever she says. Please make this not be true. Please. Oh, oh man. Oh, the 
Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. It's all my fault. I need a moment. Oh my god. I I I don't I, I don't I don't really have words for that. That is loud. <laughs> oh man. Got like the tension too. I, f I was so, oh, I, f I felt that, man. I'm seeing man and bro too much in this video. I need to, I need to stop. I need to, like, I need to self-reflect. Almost done with my chicken sandwich. Oh, Raven, cheer me up, please. Make me not feel emotions again. <laughs> Another batch. Oh well, put it. Another day, so, another nickel. Find a spot, any spot. I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Is there room in that eventually for a hello? <gasps> yeah. Princess Cadence! Hello there, Raven. And I thought we agreed that you were to drop the princess part of my name. Oh! I'm terribly sorry. Old it's habits okay. die hard. <laughs> Ah, it's good to see you. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my message would get through. The Royal Scouts aren't Dragonfire, but they're still pretty fast. Excellent. Oh, I'm so pleased. I mean, I do wish you were visiting under more auspicious circumstances, but... <sighs> I must confess, it is good to see you again. Hell yeah. Um, have you eaten? Have you eaten? Have, have I eaten? <sighs> have I eaten? No, I was actually lying this whole entire time, guys. I haven't been eating, eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Like, you thought I was eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich? God, you idiots. <laughs> My last bite. I'm not eating right now. It's just my voice acting ability. I'm totally not sad that I just ate my last bite of, uh, of a Chick-fil-A sandwich, because, uh, but, you know, actually, I'm not sad, because I, I didn't just eat, you know, my last bite. <clears throat> my desk, but I can make an exception for you. After all, it's not every day the Crystal Princess visits now, is it? With you, Raven, I'm always going to be just Cadence. <laughs> yes, well, um, there's, um, um, uh, a lovely little bistro in the East District, if you'd like to go there. Could we possibly have a picnic somewhere private in the castle grounds? I'd like some sunlight on my face, and the idea of ponies gawking at me is not something I'm eager to do again after last time. Ooh. Oh. Last time. Yes. <clears throat> I'd forgotten about that. Me too. I'll bet I was the gossip of choice around court after my last visit here. No, no, it wasn't as bad as all that. Um, well, all right, maybe it was a bit. Just, just a smidge. Um. Raven, ra we're in sync. Me and Raven were in sync. There's probably an audio delay, but, but me and Raven just said just a smidge at the same exact time. Raven. Oh, Raven, me and, you, me and you, we're like best friends now. We know each other so well. Like, remember that one time, Raven, when like, when like we did that thing and, and, we're, and we were having a great time that's because we're so much like best friends raven we're like we're like the bestest of friends like i, I can't believe it raven oh man that just a smidge that's going down in the photo book that's going in the scrapbook yeah <laughs> the court ponies are 
rather gossipy, I suppose, but, um... Raven. <sighs> uh, yes, you were... Uh, Lady Goldenmean used your... rather public argument to fool on her latest scheme to depose Princess Luna and put herself in charge. It failed, obviously, but for a while there it seemed like she had a lot of support. If you had followed through on your threat to cut off trading relations with Equestria, I think she might have had a lot of headway in pushing Princess Luna out completely. I look hmm. on nature be damned. I didn't mean it when I said that. I was just angry at Luna about Spike. I wouldn't actually cut off trading between our two nations over my own... My own? Wrath? I was going to say pissiness, but your word works too. Yeah. And that is... Language most unbecoming of royalty. Ah, I don't Maybe care. Here in Equestria, in the Crystal Empire, royalty is whatever I say it is. Half the time, the Crystal Ponies are so in awe of me, I drop in random cuss words just to see what they'll do. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Your regalness. I just imagine like a super important like private meeting between like different royals and then Gaines just drops the bum just out of nowhere. Just... <laughs> Every other royals like they start speaking about some like super important problem and like all the royals just like oh, well I say that is quite the becoming problem. We must stick this and then Kate is just like well fuck <laughs> Like, that's, that's, that's just funny to me. Never. You never used to be so uncouth. <laughs> I never used to be the ruler of an entire empire either. Oh, don't look so scandalized. Auntie Celestia swore like a sailor sometimes when we were in private, and she thought I couldn't hear, especially about paperwork. So, how about that lunch? True. I shall send Nobody a likes paperwork. for kitchens to send up a hamper to the West Lawn immediately then. Good grief, Philly. You got sassy. Except for maybe Bucket. I miss Bucket. The way you thought that... Sex on the paperwork meant something and other than gender. And of course, Lady Goldemane kicked up a fuss about that as well. Even though it would have mightily improved the lives of equestrian farmers who are already struggling after the wild weather patterns took their toll. <sighs> Honestly... If you don't have a title or money, it's, it's, it's as if she thinks you don't exist and your well-being isn't worth spending the merest oh, yeah. on. Oh yeah, I have Dr. Just quite happy to eat and critique those farmers' foods, but not to help them recover financially. Ugh, she really is the most dreadful bore. Thinks I no longer have any Dr. Pepper left. Whims and wishes because she claims her family's bloodline goes all the way back to Princess Platinum. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Years ago, without Celestia's knowledge, I conducted a thorough investigation into the lineage records of all the highest-ranked court families to see whether her claims had any weight. And, and do you know what? I could not find a single record directly linking her to any of the founders. You know, who is Princess Platinum? <sighs> Yet, when I brought back my findings to Princess Celestia... She decided against revealing my discovery to Lady Goldenmane or her horrific yobba of a son, Prince Blueblood. The princess said it would cause too much blood. upset at court and suggest the other families she was working against them, and she needed their continued support and resources for her latest philanthropic ventures. The families control so much of modern ins. Blueblood. Oh my god, that reminds me. Oh man, I, 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 ah, oh, ah, oh man, ah. Oh. Oh, oh, I forgot about something. Oh, you guys are witnessing my brain in, like, real time here. I, I completely forgot about it. Oh. Wait. Uh, actually, we might be fine. We might be fine here. No, I'm fine. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I, I think I'm chilling, actually. Oh yeah, yeah no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yeah. 
I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted, guys. I'm so sorry. Mystery. And have the ear of so many ponies of influence, it can make life very difficult for those ostensibly in charge. I must say, though, it would have been nice to see Golden Mane's face. Of course. These days, it would be impossible for me to reveal the truth to any pony at court. Princess Luna's rulership seems to hang on a thinner and thinner thread. And if she were to lose the support of all the families, and not just Golden Mane and her cronies... <coughs> Oh, would you look I'm at the so spine? sorry. Uh, 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 I mean, that is to say, um, uh, oh my goodness, uh, is that a lesser spotted whiffle bird? It's okay, Raven. Is that a pelican? I'm not going to bite your head off for mentioning her. Oh, um. Not well, yet. <sighs> Tell me truthfully, Raven. How was Luna doing at ruling Equestria? I've been keeping track as best I can through my envoys, but I know you won't lie to me or say Probably what you not think I want to hear. Probably not very good, considering... As well as one might expect, given her long absence on the moon. The world moved on quite a lot in a thousand yeah. years. Yeah. There are many customs and values that did not exist before she was exiled. Yeah. Princess Celestia had time to evolve and change alongside the nation, but Princess yeah. Luna... Yeah. Yeah. all a bit... Thrown in at the deep end without a life ring at the beginning. She was in the midst of acclimating herself to modern life when she had to take over running the country. She ain't doing too hard right now. She was processing her sister's untimely passing and the... Terrible situation that followed. She does her best. She does her best. My own absence while I helped you get the Crystal Empire back on its hooves was perhaps too long. Guys, I know the, the title of uh, the series, This Friendship is Tragic, but, but guys, I think I think uh, Luna is going to have a tragic end. <laughs> Just the way things are happening right now, I, I, I don't feel good for Luna right now. I, I, I don't feel good about her chances. I, I just don't. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just don't. I, I had this looming feeling inside of me. I know every single time I say I feel something in Friendship is Tragic 2, it ends up not mattering, and I look like a stupid idiot. But hey, that's that's okay. That's okay. I, I can look like a stupid idiot. Actually, no. There is no continuation to that sentence. I can just look like a stupid idiot. <laughs> when I returned, a lot of things here at court were in disarray. Lady Goldenmane, as I said, has the ear of many powerful ponies. I like her mane. against Princess Luna over Blue Blood's demise. She believes Luna had him murdered because of his claim to the Equestrian throne. Damn. Or, or Bumpkin, of course. But after all these years of stewing about it, okay, I don't want to like sweet her that it wasn't all a conspiracy against her family. <sighs> that. Conspiracy theory is largely what keeps the more centrist members of court from following her lead and ousting Luna. Though none of them fully trusted her when she reappeared out of nowhere, and Princess Celestia told them she was their new Diarch. Even back then, several whispered about Luna being an imposter who had fooled Celestia into accepting her as her long lost sister. Huh. There was talk when Princess Celestia well, died that Luna had orchestrated it in order to take power. Her retaliation wow. against Diomedes for regicide discouraged those, but rumors persist regardless. Dang. Golden Goldenmane and her followers have made it quite difficult to pass a lot of reforms and laws aimed at improving the lives of common ponies in the wake of our allies withdrawing support from equestrian businesses and such like. Trade agreements with foreign nations have dropped to an all-time low. Even our food imports and exports. Why is Doctor? You oh, that's filthy rich. Convoy of Equestria's best fruit and vegetables into Saddle Arabia during a famine, and they would still turn it away at I the Thought he was Doctor Hooks for a second. Where is it, Doctor Hooks? I can't tell. It's. I could go on into detail, but it, it's, it's, it is tedious even for me. 
Dude, Christ. Luna has had it rough. It says Luna has been ruling with the metaphorical equivalent of two hooves tied behind her back. I, I would say no senses at all. From when I lived at court. I didn't have a lot of interactions with her, but for a while she kept throwing blue blood into my path at every party and social occasion, hoping we'd hit it off and get married. She had it into her head that Auntie Celestia was training me to be her replacement someday and wanted a piece of that. Obviously, her plans didn't work out. Thank she God. She wrote a letter to Auntie asking or her think, to step in and prohibit me from dating or... Shining when she found out. Unseemly for a member of Alicorn royalty to be sullied by a commoner stallion were her exact words. When we got engaged, we kept it secret right up until the last second, even keeping it from Twilight. Just so Lady yeah. Golden Mane and Blue Blood couldn't spoil the big day. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure Chrysalis and her changelings were an upgrade or a downgrade in terms of wedding day crashing. Oh, Lady Goldemane is probably an upgrade. Rather peaked that you now rule as an entire empire without a husband. I don't doubt it. Naturally, she probably thinks I should choose some pony from one of the equestrian noble families. Am I right? Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> Horrible <laughs> old nag. I almost feel sorry for Luna, having to deal with her all the time. Uh, almost. I feel... <clears throat> I feel horrendous over Luna. I feel so bad for Luna. <laughs> God, if I was Luna, I don't... I, 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 <laughs> I could not mentally imagine... The pain, the immense pain I would feel if I was Luna. I could not conceive it. It is an impossibility to me. Like, oh, I feel so bad for Luna. Do you no, don't bother. Do you hate Princess Luna so? Even after all this time? Yeah. Yes. If you'll forgive me for saying so, that is incredibly sad. I know it is. I can't mm. help it, though. Even today, I promised myself I'd keep it together for Twilight's sake. But the moment I laid eyes on Luna, I just... couldn't help myself. I don't like the pony I turn into when I'm around her. That's one of the reasons I stay away. I've done a lot of healing up Fair, in the Empire. Guess. Both to the Empire and to myself. But whenever I'm around Luna, it all just... Comes undone, and falls I'm back apart. to being as raw and hurt as apart. ever. It makes me cruel and vicious, and then I hate myself for it afterwards, when I'm away from her again. <sighs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm not sure. It seemed an appropriate thing to say in the moment. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could forgive her. The rest just loathes her so much, it makes my heart hurt. Like, actually hurt. I get all twitchy and my chest aches with how much hate I have for her. <laughs> Thank you for coming out here like this with me, Raven. No I, problem, I no prob no prob Zob. Everything. Even after nearly four years, I keep thinking I'm going to screw everything up with the Empire. And there's no downtime from that, you know? I'm gonna be A-OK, -okay, Cadence. Them, and they're always looking to me to explain things or tell them what to do or mediate or just approve of them all the time. It's exhausting. Huh. Like being an actor in a play on opening night that's 24-7 and the curtain call never comes. They sound like lovable children. Here or some with lovable Luna citizens. And, and Twilight. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with them either. I kind of thought Twilight would never wake up but now she has and I don't know how to process it or her or what it must be like for her and I don't even know if she knows about Shiny or her parents or Spike or... Breathe, Cadence. Breathe. <sighs> Sorry, sorry. I just sorry. It's a lot. What are you sorry for? I'm not sure. It seemed an appropriate thing to say in the moment. <laughs> That's how it often be. <laughs> Miyamore Cadenza, Princess of Panic Attacks. <laughs> Every high school student relates. Stupid. 
Well, I, for one, think you've been doing an excellent job with the Crystal Empire. It's a near impossible task that was laid upon you. I would have not abandoned my beloved post here in Equestria, even temporarily, but just any pony, you know. <sighs> that time was invaluable. I don't think... Guys, I have a wacky idea here. I have a very wacky idea. So, like... I have my uh, uh, Chromebook with me here, right? I also have uh, my phone here with me, right? You know? So, like... I have um, this exact episode uh, pulled up on my Chromebook. So, like, what if you, like... Uh, hear me out here. Hear me out. What if, like... Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough for helping me organize and set up the whole government inside six months. It was a challenge, but I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But <laughs> just imagine though. Especially if it comes with paperwork. You and Twilight would have gotten along so well. Maybe you still will. Yeah. Oh, no, gosh. Well. It still hasn't sunk in yet. Twilight is awake. Well. She's finally out of her coma. Do I need to put the paper bag for you to breathe into? Not yet. But no, I would like houses. the paper bag, please. Things are so different. I already, wait, no, I already have the paper bag. The Chick fil A bag. <laughs> the Chick fil A bag, yes. doesn't work as well as um as you you would think <laughs> now than when she left oh my gosh her friends her friends yeah the ones she made in Ponyville. they were friends. at my wedding one of them even designed my dress twine is going to ask about them friends. what is wrong with that uh, i have no answers to these questions uh, did you not live in Ponyville for a while when Cantaloupe was being rebuilt. Yeah, I hid away in the library and made Spike promise not to tell any pony I was there. I never spoke to anyone except him, and now I can't even ask him. Ugh. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Do you know if Luna kept track of them? I, I'm not sure. No, probably Certainly, not. Oh man. She never instructed me to keep any records specifically of those five ponies. Of course she didn't. They were only five six of the elements of harmony. No pony importance. Ugh. I need to get some answers so I can tell them to Twilight. She's already gonna find out she lost her family. She can't find out that we lost track of her friends, too. <sighs> dramatic irony. So much dramatic irony. So sorry to do this, Night Guard Thunderlane, but could you get some pony to clear all this away? Need to yeah. find Princess Cadence, or I do it myself. No need to explain, my lady. Hurry, before she gets too far ahead of you. Oh, thank you. I'm much obliged to you. <clears throat> so... Oh, Twilight. Oh, sweet, sweet Twilight. Oh, fully eaten chicken sandwich. You sweet, sweet damn chicken sandwich. <gasps> what is it? Are we being attacked? What? No! Then what instigated such a dramatic entrance to a hospital room? Twilight's friends! Her friends? Yeah, what happened to them? Spill the beans, spill the tea. I, I do not understand. Where are they? Uh, presumably in Ponyville? Why? Didn't you keep track of them all these years? Yeah, I sure. had a few other things to contend with in that it's time. Just, just, just a few other. The track of a hoop full of ponies I met only thrice was rather low on my to-do list, as the populace might say. But they're the elements of harmony! They That's... were. They, they were... Uh, 
I would argue that even though Twilight would be in a coma, I would argue they would still be the elements of harmony, just, well, uh, considering what we do know now, you know, with the, with the previous knowledge of Friendship is Tragic, yeah, you, you, you could definitely say that they're not the elements of harmony anymore, but without the knowledge of that, still say they're kind of the elements of harmony. So, yeah. Though Rainbow Dash wasn't very loyal in the last episode. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> elements have been dormant since Discord's defeat and encasement in stone. Since oh. he has not broken free in all this time, I presume their power was entirely spent on containing his formidable chaos magic. Hmm. They have been inert since Twilight's loss of her horde. What if effectively Discord her shows up in Friendship is Tragic too? So you're saying hmm. you basically have no idea where any of her friends are or how they're doing? I did not say that. So you do know where they all are? Not all. <clears throat> Only one. What? Pinkie Pie? Dash. Oh, I Rainbow was Dash. forced to oh. expel her from Cantalot for causing the ruination of the Wonderbolts. Ruination? They disbanded some time ago following an accident wherein their leader, yeah. Rainbow Dash, destroyed the Cantalot Arcs during an unsolicited and unsanctioned race that put many citizens' lives in danger from yeah. falling debris and other collateral damage. Yeah. The damage to Cantalot Castle was severe yeah a lot in this episode. cost many thousands of bits to repair. The Wonderbolt's leader left the team in disgrace for her part in events, and the team could not survive her sudden departure. Sergeant Ponies at court felt this was further evidence of my competence as a leader, given the Wonderbolt's function as our defensive air corps, and at that point we were undergoing diplomatic meetings with potential ally leaders from Griffinstone that could have resulted in a that? sudden need for an air defense force. As such, in order why, to reassemble the Wonderbolt, I was forced there. to make an example of Rainbow Dash and prohibit her from ever returning to Cantalot or coming within ten miles of any Wonderbolt-owned buildings anywhere in Equestria in exchange for suppressing public knowledge for her part in the situation. When last I heard, she had returned to Ponyville in shame. I assumed to live with whatever family she has there. Wonderbolt's well... expanded? You did not know of that? No pony told me. Curious. Perhaps Curious. they assumed your indifference to this, as you are also indifferent to other aspects of equestrian life. I am not indifferent to Equestria. Oh. <clears throat> uh, d d guys, don't make fun of me for this, but uh, indifferent. A uh, definition. 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 Having no particular. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, you know. Why do you refuse uh, to visit it outside of emergencies? Because you're here, of course, and I don't have the capacity to endure your heartlessness or coldness for longer than a few minutes at a time. Oh, so I am heartless and cold, am I? Yes. You just admitted you threw one of the ponies who yep. saved Equestria out of Camelot and banned her from ever coming back because well, of optics. Well, I mean... You don't even seem to know where the rest of the element ponies are. Yeah. Should I? Uh, yes! Well, well I mean... Why yeah, was but, uh, I to monitor them as closely as you seem to think I should have? Before or after daily governance of Equestria... Cadence, here's the thing, though. You say Princess Luna should have been keeping track of them. Um, why didn't you keep track of them, per se? Hmm? You did not keep track of them? You seem to have forgotten about that you knew they were the elements of harmony as well. You could have made an effort to keep track of them. Don't sue me, please. Equestria, in between diplomatic meetings, perhaps, or perchance while negotiating the perils of courtly social politicking. Yes, yes, you're busy. We all are. Have you seen Raven's office lately? Miss Gwell is a highly organized and invaluable mare whose skills are second to none. She's also still just one pony doing the job of, like, three. 50. But that's beside the point. It's 20 off. Damn it. 
Twy is going to want to know about her friends now that she's awake. And neither of us have kept track of them. What are we going to tell her? I... I... Princess Elsie, no! Oh my god. Oh. It was... It scared me. It was a nightmare. I guess. I'm really getting into the vibe of October with that jump scare. Hush, Twilight Sparkle, you she's, are safe. She's going back to but sleep. She's not. No, she's not. I can't believe she's gone. It's all like a... Some horrible nightmare. Except I'm waking up into it instead of from it. <sighs> That's, yeah. Huh? Raven, what are you doing here, Raven? <sighs> cliffhanger? 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 <sighs> cliffhanger hype? You're not gonna say anything, Raven? Where's Shining Armor? Is he with you? I think that- Ah, <sighs> uh, come on! Let me breathe! Something best for later. Okay, it's thank you, thank you. Right now and you need time to recover before- Thank you! Before, before what? Nothing! Before nothing! I need time to emotionally oh, recover! God. You're lying to me. Where's my brother? Twilight. What can't you tell me before I have time to recover, Cadence? What could possibly be so bad that Nurse Redheart could tell me Princess Celestia is dead, but you can't tell me that... that... <sighs> oh no. No! No! Twilight. Not him too! Twilight Sparkle. Not him too! Twilight, please, <laughs> calm down and I'll explain. Why did you burst through the door? It just... Uh. What's going on? What's going on with there? Raven? Hmm. She sits there alone. I'm gonna be back. I'm a. I'm going to emotionally recover real quick. Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Mostly. Oh my god. That. My brain is failing me right now. <laughs> let me just start off with. Let me start off with this. Having Raven Inkwell just 
go out of the room and just sit down on the bench. And just hearing Twilight's cries from, like, from that outside perspective, that, that has such a strong impact. And I feel like, like, it just, ah, I don't know why it works so well, but having that scene be Raven walking out of the door and having it from her perspective, it hits so much harder from that way than it probably would have if we were still in that room. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, remember what I said about me and Raven being in sync? I, I, I did the same exact pose that Raven did with, like, the, the hooves covering her eyes. Like, I did that too. Like, <laughs> Oh my god. That hit like a semi truck. <laughs> Just oh That epi this episode was pretty damn good, <laughs> not gonna lie. There were some parts where I'm just like I wasn't fully invested, which that's gonna happen with any piece of entertainment really. But, like, the parts that were really... that The parts that hit, like, really hit with this episode. This episode was... Oh. 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 God, where... I need another Chick-fil-A sandwich. I'm coping with comedy. Let me cope. What's, what's the next episode? What, what's the next episode? Uh... I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Rotations of the moon. Alright, so we're getting a Luna heavy, probably getting a Luna heavy episode next. And I'm not gonna, I really did not expect this episode to be when Twilight wakes up. I, I thought we were going to get more of what, the, the in between. But I, I guess, yeah, we did kind of get all the in-between be needed, I guess. I, I don't know. I just, yeah. Huh. Another thing that I'm, I'm interested in is... Uh, th this thing's going to be 24 episodes. What are the next 15 episodes going to be? Like, there's going to be some crazy stuff that's going to happen, right? Because, like, we're nine episodes in. And I already feel like this uh, this series could end in, like, another two to three episodes. Like, what is going to happen for the next 15 episodes? Like, holy frick. We're pro actually, we're probably going to get a continuation from Friendship is Tragic. And that's, that's going to be crazy to go through. Considering the pace we're going at, we had like seven episodes for the basically the prequel side of it. And we might have seven episodes of... Just meanwhile, like, the, the the present, you know, of the events of Friendship is Tragic. We might have, like, another seven episodes of that. But that just leaves 14 episodes. That leaves a whole ten other episodes. Probably dealing with future th Just, just, wow. <laughs> Brr, brr, brr.